what's going on everyone this is a quick update about how to share your gorm ide container with an instructor or a ta in the event that you need some help while going through the course so gorm has changed a little bit they have a classic setup that i think they've deprecated meaning they're no longer going to be using it and then they have what they're calling the modern interface and so things have changed ever so slightly and i just want to update you all on how to effectively share your container so normally you would open up your container by clicking on run and then from there you would go to the share options and then you'd be able to get the link and set the share options there so they haven't reintegrated that into the modern ui just yet so that's something that they're working on right now so in the meantime you'll go to your dashboard like this page here after you've logged in find the container like this one test 101 for example and then click on the settings cogwheel in the top right corner of this little container card. Once you click on that, it'll redirect to the settings page. You'll scroll all the way to the bottom under manage access. And here you can leave everything defaulted and you'll have the link that you want to share your workspace with. The main thing that we want to change here is that you want to have it editable for root. And so that will allow the TA or whoever you share your link with to turn on your database and make changes that they otherwise wouldn't be able to make. Now, if you want to make it a little more secure, instead of just doing anyone, you can do any GORM user, and that makes sure that they have to sign in first. Once you're done with that, it's already updated. All you have to do is click on this little copy button right here next to the workspace shared link. It will copy it to your clipboard, and then you can share it with an instructor. One other way to do it is just to go over here to the invite button, click on invite, and then you can search the user by their email. So that's it for updating your GORM container to give root editable permissions. Make sure that before you do this, whoever you're sharing it with, you trust that person, you know that they are in fact a teaching assistant or an instructor for the course that you're taking and they're not going to mess up your code. And then of course, always send it in a direct message, don't send it publicly. All right. That's it. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you all in the next video.